Hi guys, Maggie Make It Go here with another how-to video. We put out videos every Friday on crafts, DIY, home improvements, general business advice, and anything else you can think of. If there's something you want to see us do, please let us know in the comments. Subscribe to make sure you can see all of our videos. Enjoy this video! Today we're going to be looking at how to assemble a piece of flat pack furniture. So I'm going to be working with this bookcase. It's a four shelf bookcase. I do have instructions on this. However, if you don't have instructions, you can still use this video to try and figure out how things are supposed to go together. So the first thing to do is open up the box and take out all of the components that are inside. So you may find a set of instructions like these ones, or you may not. You should find a number of small packages with certain things in them. So as you can see here, I've got some Phillips screws at the top. I've got some wooden dowels, some plastic plugs, and some metal nails. So straight away from that, I can tell that I'm going to need a hammer and a Phillips head screwdriver. So remember the Phillips is the one with the cross. I then have a number of white panels. So I've put them in piles of what they are. So this long one, with which is obviously the sides of the bookshelf, I do have two of them with a variety of holes on them. I have this back panel here that folds in half, just one of those. And I have five of these shorter panels. Now something I have noticed on these panels is that one of them has bigger holes on the sides. The other ones have small holes, this one panel has bigger holes. Now I would say, going back to the photo of the small components we have, I would say that is where those wooden dowels go, whereas the other holes are for screws. The other thing to notice is that some of the edges of the panel are finished in white and some are finished in this chipboard. So we want to make sure when we're putting things together, all of the surfaces that have the chipboard exposed are covered. So we don't want any of them outward facing on our bookshelf. Okay, so you want to lay your bookshelf out, just how you're going to screw it together. So I've put the center shelf in there, which is held on through the dowels. So as you can see, there's no screw holes on the outside for those. Everything you're looking at has the white surface facing upwards. So all of this is white. There's no exposed chipboard, um, which you can see in here. So everything is how it should be. There's holes for everywhere I'm going to put screws. So for each shelf, there's two holes and two holes. Two holes, two holes, all the way down. So once everything is aligned and you know where you're going to be putting things, that's when you can start screwing things in. Now it was a little bit tricky to try and line up the screws with the screw holes. So you can see that there is a pre-drilled pilot hole for the screw to go into. Um, and I just tried to have a look at it from all angles, especially the top, and try and get it right in that hole. Um, some of those holes were a little bit crooked, which was frustrating as well. But you just want to try and get it as central as you can. What I did was I actually just used my fingers to tighten these screws just to make sure that I was hitting each panel right in that little hole you can see there. So um, by having it quite loose, I was able to line things up, make sure it, I was putting the screw where it needed to be. If I was unsure, I just tried to do it about half the thickness of this panel here. So you wanna try and get it right in the middle here. This is what it looked like after I had just used my fingers to make sure everything was in the right place. Um, once that was done, I then went around and tightened all those screws. Um, <clears throat> I just uh, hand tightened them with the screwdriver 
and um, so I didn't get a ratchet or anything like that. Now this is a pretty low quality bookcase and as you can see the screws aren't actually flush, they do protrude a little bit um, but I was okay with that. I then flipped the bookcase over so that I was looking at the back. All right, so I flipped it up. Um, I just actually flipped it end on, so you want to be looking at the rough part of the wood. And then I put this back on. Now make sure that the nice side of the back is facing the inside of the bookshelf, and this bit is the bit that's going to go against the wall. So you want to line that up. I will do that with two hands and then you want to put nails in. Now a good rule of thumb here is to count how many nails you have and make sure you can evenly spread them around. You only want to do them on the edges, you don't want to do them in the middle. So just on the edges. I'm going to start with the top left corner there and the bottom right corner. Once I've done that I'm going to do the other two corners and then I'll show you where else. So once you've got the first two nails in, just make sure you're happy with the positioning of the board because it is pretty much tacked down now and you're not going to be able to move it. I did the four yellow stars with the red outline, so the four corners to start with. And then I did the pink stars and lastly the green stars. So that was the 16 nails. Um, it probably doesn't matter if you use a few less as long as you evenly space them out and make sure you do have them in the corners. The reason I did two nails in the middle is because it was two pieces of backboard there so you can see from this photo. And this is what the bookcase looks upright and we're almost ready for our final step. And last but not least putting these covers on. So this is where it's frustrating that this is quite cheap furniture. Um, so those screws, I didn't want to do them up too tight. So some of them are not quite flush. So this would look better if they were um, screwed in really, really tight. But I didn't want to take the risk of splitting anything on the inside. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Just remember we do put out new videos every Friday. If there's something that you want us to do, please let us know in the comments. Subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so that you can see whenever we post a new video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.